Average insert preference. Welcome back to Sound the Siren. I'm Xavier. I'm Dylan. Welcome back to another episode. Today is a little different. We will be predicting the rest of the season on a website. It's the AFL ladder and Darcy's team is out of it, let's say. They're wooden spoon favourites, but the Saints and the Blues are still in it. So Zave and I, we were talking off camera and we were seeing who would make the finals, but we thought, why not do it in a video? So we're all going to be recording our separate screens and it'll make more sense once you see it. So off, boys. And Just I'll... quickly. Oh, yep. I do think that mine will be the best judge. It'll be the least biased because I do think we'll be seeing some unrealistic wins from both of you towards your own teams. I will try to be as non-biased as possible. I'll, I'll be as neutral as possible, but there is a couple where I think the Saints could get over the line. Any, anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. So yeah. I'll put you boys... Just quickly, and the website is uh, predictor.squiggle.com.au. Uh, this is not sponsored by them. Uh, when we probably don't have enough subscribers for that yet, but the website is actually very, very good. And I'm a big fan of it. Use it all the time myself. I'll put the link in the description. So, yeah. boys, remember to record your screens and we will compare once you all join back. Good luck. See ya. So, we're here with round 18. So, five more rounds to go it's very tight at the moment Fremantle West Coast St Kilda all fighting for that seventh spot and the eighth as well is open so for me first game of the round that they have presented is Carlton versus Collingwood and I'd say Carlton will win I've been saying to Zay that the Pies could get over the line but I do feel that Carlton will win and I'll go by about 15 points Gold Coast versus the Bulldogs. I'd say it's straightforward. The Bulldogs should win. I'll go by about 28 points. The Battle of the Bridge is what they used to call it. Unfortunately, not anymore. Not too sure what the rationale behind that was. But this this is a good matchup. I've still got the Swans winning, but I do think it'll be close. So I've got them by 8 points or 7 points. Melbourne versus Hawthorne, the D's should win by about 30-ish. And again, another straightforward game. Although North, they've been very, very good. Ben Cunnington, as you know, is one of my personal favourites, but Essendon should get over the line. And another game. It's very, very hard to predict. I know Richmond have been out of form, but I feel like they could bounce back in saying that do have the Lions winning. Now, here's the game that is hard to predict for me. I feel like the Saints can get over the line. They've been in elite form and the power in a little bit of a slump. When I say a little bit of a slump, I mean one loss, but against a top four team in the Ds who are sitting comfortably up in the first position. So I'll put the Saints by nine. And we move up to seventh, so I would, I would love to see that. We need a couple of wins due to our percentage, which is only a mere 88.3. The Eagles versus the Crows. Am I crazy for tipping the Crows? I don't think so. I'm going Adelaide. Frio Geelong tomorrow night, as of when this is recorded. Geelong should win. And isn't it great to see Frio back on primetime footy? First time in a little while. Go Geelong, though. All right, into the next round. So after next week, this is how the ladder is shaping up. Both the Western teams slipping out of the eight, and Essendon have made a move up. It's good to see for them. I'll move you across to Darcy. All right, this could be interesting. Um, let's see how this one goes. I think Brisbane will have a good win here. Who has Sydney? Yeah, do you have G? Sure, I want to play at the G. Okay, Sydney, Sharks, Bulldogs, Suns, Melbourne. Yeah, Melbourne, comfortably. Saints, Port, look, Docklands. 
say two in a row. Here we close. So we're Port Five, North Essington. I don't think it's going to be a blowout. I don't think we'll win. But a little Carlton. Collingwood's on a bit of a roll. Um, in the one, two straight. Carlton's a bit trash. I think we'll go Collingwood by eight. Adelaide West Coast. At Adelaide Oval. Mm, it's definitely not that close. West Coast should win that one. Carlton North Melbourne. I genuinely do think North could hit them here. Um, don't want to look too biased. Uh, I'll go by 13. Yeah, we should win this one. Um, Bombers aren't that good. They've had a few good games. Long Richmond, Richmond and Shambles. Um, Long are looking good. We're going to Long. Melbourne Gold Coast, yeah, Melbourne comfortably. Brisbane Hawthorne, Brisbane comfortably. Sydney Freo. See, this is the type of game Freo would win. I do think Freo would win this type of game. Bulldogs and Adelaide. We will go. Another round for me finished, and really it's it's looking the same as it was. Carlton have jumped up, and I'm interested to see where Zave has Carlton on the ladder, so let's swing to him right now. The first game, Geelong versus Fremantle. I'm going to do all of my explanations in five words or less. I'm picking Geelong because they are better. Also, I'm not going to put too much effort into the margin. I don't think it's really going to matter all that much. I think their percentages will stay similar to what they are already. Um, Sydney versus Fremantle. I'm going to tip Sydney. They've been in magnificent form. Richmond, Fremantle. Uh, I think Richmond will bounce back. I don't really rate Fremantle as highly as... I've just realised I'm on the Fremantle fixture, so we'll get out of that. But uh, I don't really rate Fremantle as highly as... Perhaps their ladder prediction would, or their ladder spot would say, given that they're currently sitting in eight. So I think they're probably not quite that good. I'm going to go Brisbane over Richmond. Richmond have been in some poor form. I know Brisbane were just pumped last week by St Kilda, but I expect them to bounce back. Uh, Sydney GWS. I'm going to go Sydney. Uh, GWS is one of the more inconsistent teams in the league, and Sydney's been really good, especially against teams above them. Uh, dogs, Gold Coast, I'm going with the dogs, obviously. Uh, Melbourne, Hawthorne, similarly, I'm going with Melbourne, obviously. Uh, Port Adelaide, St Kilda. Um, this is one that Dylan and I have differing opinions on. I know Dylan was saying that uh, he expects the the Saints to pull out a win, given it given that it's their home game. Uh, I think there's absolutely no chance, and if I was a betting man, I would be putting money on Port Adelaide to win. Um, they haven't lost to a t as far as I believe they haven't lost to a team outside of the top eight so far this whole year, and the last time they played St Kilda, which was also this season, they won by 54 points. So I definitely expect Port Adelaide to win this game, um, and by a fair bit as well. I think uh, North Essendon. It's going to be Essendon. I think I don't really rate North despite having a great game uh, last week uh, against West Coast, I think it was. Uh, Carlton Collingwood, I'm going to go Carlton. Again, if I was a betting man, I'd put it on them. Um, West Coast Adelaide. Um, that's a tough, tough one. Just kidding. I think West Coast, they're going to bounce back. I think they're still a pretty good team, and I think they're going to get some players back from injury and really, really, uh, really fight for the top eight position. If they do make it this year, I think they're going to be a dangerous team to face. If I was Melbourne or if I was the Bulldogs, or I'm sorry, if I was Port Adelaide or Sydney, who I currently have five and six, I probably wouldn't want to face a, face West Coast in the first round. Carlton North, I don't think North are that good. I'm going with Carlton. Um, Essendon, back-to-back -back wins for Carlton, and I'm being unbiased, I swear. Essendon GWS, uh, I'm going to go GWS. They have that buy, so that puts them in the top eight as of this stage in the season. Um, Geelong, Richmond, I'm going to go Geelong. Uh, unfortunately for Richmond, they're currently sitting in 10th. So um, who would have thought it uh, this time last year? Mm, yeah. Saints, LA Hawks. Mm, 14, yeah. 
Free Richmond at Perth. See, Richmond being underrated still. Richmond should win that game. Carlton Gold Coast at Docklands. Yeah, I'll give Carlton that win. Geelong JBS, Kitty Park. I'll give Geelong that win. I do so. Hawthorne Collingwood. Jeez. Yeah, I'll give Collingwood. Richmond North Melbourne. Richmond should win that. Not that much. Um, Saints for Sydney. I do think. Around 21, I think the Saints will get up. I am now in the final round, and I'm not going to spoil how the ladder will be by the end of this round, but after 22 rounds and the beginning of the 23rd, here is the, it's very tight, just quietly between 10th and 7th, so opportunities for the Saints to fall out, for the Blues to quickly sneak in and the Eagles, well, I may have been a little harsh, but they had the Lions and the Dockers in their last two matches. I've gathered all the troops. Welcome back. So how do we want to start this, boys? Does anyone want to reveal their ladder first or should we go? We'll, go, we'll start with you two. I'll go last, I, I think. I think we should start with him because I think I'm going to rip into his a fair bit. So okay. I'll start with you two. Now, I don't know if we can go round by round, but here is my overall ladder. And I've tried to be as unbiased as possible. Just have a quick look at that. It is very different. It's very bad. different to mine as well. Very, very different. different. Um, starting with St Kilda, I have them a lot lower. I have Essendon lower, have Fremantle lower. You thought I'd be biased. Don't, give, don't, don't, don't spoil, don't spoil, but um, yeah. Just, just be saying a couple of interesting points. Yeah, such yeah. as, such as, go ahead, analyze it, do whatever. You um, in my defense, Sydney I fifth is an interesting one. Would be first rounded. Hmm. Sydney, Sydney fifth is an interesting one for me, and yeah, I don't know. It looks a bit biased, saying seventh, but. That is true. Um, I did give them the loss against Sydney and Geelong. So I had them beating Fremantle, Carlton. How can you possibly have them beating Port? You sent this into our test, but I just find it totally ridiculous. I cannot see for the life of me St Kilda beating Port Adelaide. You might, if you clip this and they do manage to beat Port Adelaide, then I will look like an idiot, but I just can't see it happening. I know the Saints have been in magnificent form. I said this when I was doing my ladder predictor. I know the Saints have been in incredible form. I know Port got thumped by Melbourne last week, but Port Adelaide hasn't lost to a top eight, to a bottom eight team this whole year. And last time they, they played St Kilda, they thumped, them, they thumped them by over 50 points. So I just can't really see it happening. But I think we are a changed team. As I said, we re- regathered and we retrained over the bye period and we've come out firing with three good wins. And it's at Marvel Stadium. I just think, you know, the, the camaraderie around the club is better and that has influenced our, how we play. I think something else that is incredible is if you switch that Port Adelaide and St Kilda win, St Kilda still make the eight in Dylan's one. <laughs> they don't make the eight in mine, but if you switch that win, they still make it. Well, and- I had them winning Port Adelaide, Carlton, West Coast and Fremantle. I've been taught for a long time that percentage is a good indicator as to how consistent and how good a team is for a whole year. And if you look at uh, St Kilda's percentage, even after Dylan's given them all these wins, they're still below Essendon, still below Fremantle, still below Carlton, still below Richmond, still below West Coast, still below GWS. So, and only just ahead of Collingwood. Yeah, I can't, I can't see it happening, to be fair, Dylan. But, fair enough. Yeah. You're into your final series. That looks a bit interesting, that one. Do you want us to run, run us through them? Yeah, well, I think the Ds are pretty unstoppable at the G against interstate teams. I think the Swans will be too good for the Bombers, although the Bombers, are, they're very unpredictable and volatile. I, I've got Port winning against my Saints, unfortunately. And then at Cardinia Park, I don't see the Cats It loop. wouldn't be at Cardinia Park. You don't it think? It would be at MCG. Yeah, in, that, in that case, I would change it. I thought it would be at Cadenia Park. They might manage to get a first one, at, the first one at 
could in your park. If, if, if COVID. If there's COVID. Yeah, maybe if COVID as well, that will definitely uh, come. I'll, I'll, a quick, I'll quickly adjust this and let me get right back to it. I've still got Geelong beating Port. And then I've got the Bulldogs winning and see it depends where it's played because I'd have Melbourne at the MCG regardless. MCG yeah, regardless. if it's in a preliminary, it's gonna be MCG definitely. And then I'll probably still go the dogs. And it's a good match up. Who's taking photo? photos? Photos. That's I took the photos so I can compare it to my own one when Okay. So that's my ladder. And I'll we'll move to yours, Dave. We can always come back to it if you Want to have a look, but I've got Hawthorne winning the wooden spoon. I'll share my screen right now. And it's a lot different to Dylan's one. Don't flame me too much, but I think I'm right. Mm. Oh, Richmond. Mm. Mm. Richmond's still making the eight. And I am the biggest non Richmond supporter you'll ever see. But these are the games I have Richmond playing. I have them losing their next two, which will see them fall very low on the ladder. But I think they're better than Frio still. Definitely better than North. I can't see them losing to GWS, and I can't see them losing to Hawthorne either. So I, I think they're going to and GWS. You tipped Fremantle and GWS. Yep. I don't really see it happening. I know. I I don't like Richmond. I know they've been poor this year, but they still have a a lot of experience. They still have a lot of good players. So I still think they'll make the eight. As of right now, they lose this week, they're done. Or not, they lose uh, the following week after Brisbane, Geelong, they're done. Thoughts, Dars? Um, I don't disagree with much on the ladder, to be honest. Uh, I think it's pretty solid. Um, it's pretty similar. Geelong beating Melbourne in the prelim. Oh, so you, you want to go down there? You're happy with the ladder doing? You don't want to say anything else? I mean, I'm not happy with the, with the Saints. Who Can you go to ours? On... Something interesting. If you're watching uh, my me talking through it, at one stage, I had the Saints at 12th because if I change this game... Five-point loss. If I change that game, they go to 12th. Can you just go back to the... I did, I did switch it back eventually, yeah. but... Uh, Alton beating St Kilda. A bit of bias. There. No, I, no, I no, no, no. You just changed that then. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I changed okay. it back at the very end. But okay. I'm not biased. I've got Carlton 12th. You've got Carlton 10th. So it's not yeah. really like I'm riding them too hard. But. Can you just quickly go back to that page that you had up similar to Richmond? Yeah. So you have Saints winning two of the next six. Yes. I think they're better than Frio, who are in the eight right now. Um, I think they're better than Carlton, maybe just at the moment in this stage of their team. But I don't think they're better than Port. I think West Coast are going to be angry. They really need to make the eight. It'll be embarrassing if they don't, similar to Richmond. But I think they still will, and I think that's a game they can win. Sydney, I talked about a fair bit. I thought that was a really close one because Sydney, I didn't really think were that good coming into the year. Even now, I find it hard to believe how good they are. But they've beaten almost every team above them. Um, and they have been incredible all year. So I still have them beating the Saints. And then Geelong, obviously, I think most people will have the same one for that one. I will say they are very dependent on the Marshall Ryder Ruck duo. I think they're, they're the most inconsistent team in the league. No question. They've beaten teams by 50 points, like top eight teams by 50 points. And they've lost to like bottom six teams by 50 points. So it, they're no question in my mind, the hardest team to pick. Yeah. All right, Das, up to you. And here we go. There it is. It is very similar to Xavier's. I think we just had a couple of positions in the top four different. Um, and I had the Saints up at ninth, and I had Carlton down to 13th. 13th, yeah. 13th. We have the same top eight. We pretty pretty much just, what, just switch a couple positions in the top four. Yeah, but I mean like the same eight teams. Then we yeah. have, you have St Kilda and Essendon pretty much switched. And then Carlton one spot lower. Just with the... I, yeah. I agree with Darcy's a lot more than I agree with Dylan's. Fair enough. And who, I think who, on Rich and two Darcy. Oh, eight wins. Yeah. I had nine wins, so 
I'll have a quick look. So, they, I had them losing to Collingwood this week. I think really? that's probably the difference. Yeah, I think that's probably the difference there. Yeah. I don't think we'll lose to Collingwood. Okay, yeah, I do you think I the rest think of them will be similar. Can you switch to Richmond, does? Richmond? Just with the Frio game. Okay, so you have them beating Frio and GWS. The exact same as me. You've got them beating everyone but the first two games. Okay. Yeah, I do think that's how it's going to go. Um, Fremantle aren't that good. I don't know why they're being seen as that good. Um, I know, but, but yeah. I said they're in top eight right now. Carlton are not. Everyone says Carlton bad. Carlton's bad, but Carlton beat Freer by 40 points the first time we played and then by like 10 points the second. So, but yeah. two and a half against them, I think we're a better team. Rio and Cinder yeah. are probably the hardest to predict. I think Freeman have just won a couple in a row that have been easy enough wins. I don't think they've had really big scalps. But, um, yeah, I had North winning in the last round against Adelaide yeah. to put us up to 17th. I did too. I did too. And yeah, just... And then... Oh, sorry. Yep. Keep going. I uh, You go quickly. Just on the elimination final two... Yeah, I was going to get to that. You don't think Sydney are a chance against the Eagles? I sat there, if you look at mine, I generally sat there for about two minutes thinking about that one. That's the hardest game to pick up, I think. Um, Sydney are a pretty good team, but I do think the West Coast will just hold off a bit better. But um, I think this is very similar to Xavier's final series, except West Coast and Sydney are yeah, swapped. I love, and I, had, I love this. I had, and I, I had, had the Bulldogs beating Melbourne. Yeah, I had the, I only had Melbourne winning it because I thought it was more of a there'd be a lot of hype around it and sort of the fairy tale of the uh, you know the drought and all that. So I had Melbourne just tipping over the Bulldogs. In fact, just purely on momentum. Of, because of the way I ordered my top eight, I had the Bulldogs beating um, the Bulldogs beating Brisbane, and mm. then and then Geelong beating Melbourne. But yeah, I would have picked it if it was that way. I think that's probably just down to one or two different games. But which means the only tip we have different was the St Kilda, uh, the Sydney West Coast one. And I sat there for mm. a long time on that one as well because I think they're both pretty close. But I even went West Coast that, for the experience. For all the talk of Richmond being horrible this year, Darcy and I, who both don't like Richmond, both have them winning a final. So I yeah. still think they're a good chance. I didn't even have them in the finals. But you regardless, have them in 13th or something? 11th. 11th. But regardless of what we predict, I think we can all agree that we are set up for a brilliant final series. Every game there looks competitive and good to watch. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that one. It's probably the first point that you boys have actually agreed with me on this episode. I think there are a lot of teams that could still win it. I think Brisbane could still win it for sure. Mm. Melbourne, the Bulldogs, Geelong, and then I think Richmond if they yeah get I'll their say, form back. I don't, I don't want to say Richmond, but it's uh, we've seen stranger things from them. Yeah, a lot. What are they too? What are they can make a push as well? I think a lot of these games are very circumstantial with forms, injuries. Mm. So obviously, we probably won't get it right on the dot. In fact, mine will. <laughs> probably I'll be a, a while off. I've got Essendon in eighth position and these boys have them 11th and they have Carl, Dallas has Carlton 13th, I have them 10th. So we're all in... I have a ninth, ninth, to be fair. So I think only one spot lower than you do. Okay. Hmm. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. But as I said, very circumstantial and I think we could probably review these just before the final series. Yeah, I agree. Hmm. Definitely. And so then we could, after we could do another bracket as well and review yeah. that after the after the final series. So by the time this goes up, I'd say I might put it up after round eighteen, just for a progress check with our viewers. Thoughts? I think yeah, it'll be fine. it'll be tough to tell. I'm sure it's it's all right, but it'll be tough to tell because teams like Richmond will be like fourteenth on the ladder after next week if they lose to Geelong yeah. or yeah. Brisbane. But then they have an, a really easy run home to mm. make their top eight. But, yeah. I'm actually curious with the Saints run. I know you don't give them a chance against Port. And then West Coast, Optus Stadium's always scary to play at. So, 
Yeah, I took them both as winners and I tried to be unbiased. Obviously, you boys don't agree, which is fair enough. But, I think yeah. uh, outside of the, what, the Geelong and Port Adelaide games, I think you're still a chance in all of them. I think you can still beat West Coast on your day. You can still beat Carlton, obviously. You can, uh, you can still beat Sydney on your day. And you can obviously beat Fremantle as well on your day. So I think outside of Port Adelaide and Geelong, you're definitely a chance in all of them. Once again, just picture Darcy's letter and here's mine. <laughs> very, very different. Yep. And just quickly, how do I... I don't know how you have... I don't know how you have Richmond West Coast GWS 11, 12, 13th. I don't understand that. It's the Saints. To be fair, they were close games. I didn't... I wasn't outrageous with them. I still had Geelong beating us by... It wasn't outrageous, but you had them beating... Everyone. <laughs> three teams in the top eight. <laughs> yeah, well... Wait, which teams, sorry? Port. Well, if you look at it right now, you have them beating Frio... You have them beating Sydney. No, I don't. On, you, know, you have them beating uh, West Coast oh. and Geelong, uh, and Port. So three teams in the top eight as of right now. Uh, to be fair, I have them beating uh, uh, Fremantle as well, but I do have them losing to both Port and West Coast. Yeah. Mm, agree with the first, agree with the second. Third could go either way, but I agreed with it on my ladder predictor. Fourth, I agree with. Fifth, agreed. Sixth will be close. I think Carlton GWS is another close one, similar mm -hmm. to Carlton Singular. Head to Richmond. This is where it all was separated. You think they're not as good as Freya? Or I GWS. Do. Or GWS. Or GWS. I just took in the home crowd as the advantage. That's what I took into account. It is everywhere, bro. Yeah, something that I, when I'm doing my footy tipping, I do not look at the almost never look at the stadium unless it's like 50 50. any other teams you boys want to have a quick glimpse at how'd you get west coast so low west coast they're losing to, yeah, adelaide. losing to adelaide based on current form i went for a punt and tipped adelaide and prayer and prayer you yeah. mean current form adelaide's like 14th <laughs> no i know but i at Adelaide Oval, as I said, I took into account the home crowd. So, yeah, Dylan, Dylan saw Adelaide 16th, third last on the ladder, and, and West Coast top eight, and he's like, no, nah, Adelaide. And oh, God, the thing is, West Coast is, is one of my favourite teams behind St Kilda. So I, this is just, as I see, it's not because they're competing for a top eight spot. I genuinely give Adelaide a chance next week. And as similar to Zay, whether or not I look like a fool next week, Time will tell. I, both Darcy and I could look like complete fools at the end of the year, given that we, we bagged you so hard. If your one does come out uh, more correct, then we're oh, definitely going sure to confront you. I'll be sure. On one of these episodes, I will be. Something that is interesting, I forgot to mention it before, but in the very first football podcast that we made this year, I think, it was um, uh, like ranking each team on a tier maker. Darcy and I made a bet, and that it was, it was that Carlton will finish above one of St Kilda or Collingwood, and Darcy does have them fi Carlton finishing above Collingwood this uh, this year, but he has them losing to Collingwood this week, which would put Collingwood above uh, Carlton below both of them after, at the end of this round. So that's uh, spelling danger for my bet, I think. Yeah, and I had the Kangas beating the Crows as well, Darcy. Yeah, last round. I think we'll get up just to ruin our number one draft pick hopes. That's just a classic North Melbourne thing to do. And a classic Adelaide thing to do. Beat West Coast, lose to North, you know. Mm, true. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Next week. It's basically me take on you boys. Yeah, yeah pretty Darcy, much the same. Darcy and mine are very similar, but you'll see the fairy out there. So, yeah. yeah. You think... You think majority rules, ours would be closer to the mark and, you know, also the same great minds think alike. I think we could be pretty close to that yeah, one. Yeah, definitely. And just quickly, who do you have winning the elusive championship? I have the Doggies. Uh, I had Geelong. I think Darcy did as well. So, yeah, our finals were very similar. 
There you go. <laughs> All right, boys, make sure to follow at sts.podcast, at AFL Supercoach, and at Foopy Beanies. Hope you like the video. Make sure to subscribe and comment down below who you think will win this year. And if you agree with mine, Zave or Darcy's letter. But that's all for this week, and we will catch you next week. Thanks for watching.